It might be because of how long I've lived on the planet. It could be by my nature. But in my head, there's this library of brilliant sentences. These are genius sentences that have come into my mind over the years, throughout my life. And they're just there. They have their own personalities. And they're actually quite sneaky. Because they have, they're not connected to anything. They just form and they sound beautiful. You know, if I said one or two, you'd just faint or, I don't know, you'd, you'd cheer or something like that. But the thing is, they have no, I don't know, they're just there. Maybe they're mental exercises. And sometimes when I'm writing, that I'm writing away, one of them jumps in. I, I don't notice it until a subsequent draft. And then I have to get it out. And these are just words, you know. I, all I need to do is sort of with a marker pen, it's out. But it's not quite as simple as that. Because they seem to have a soul. So when I'm trying to pull the sentence out, they're just squealing and screaming, please, 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 no, no, no. And I have to say, no, you have to come out. You have no, you have no use in this book. And I suppose other people call that killing your darlings. I don't see these sentences as darlings. They're just very, very good sentences, you know. And as you're pulling them out, they'll claim everything. They'll say, listen, this is Nobel Prize winning stuff. Of course it's not. But they do anything to stay in there. And you have to learn to pull them out. And I think part of the job or function of a writer is to be steeled enough that you can pull out these crying sentences without mercy. You know, no tears, no, no pity. It's like, you're out, back on the shelf. That's just one way to do it.